Hello, my name is Christopher Jones. I'm a professor of chemical and biomolecular engineering at the Georgia Institute of Technology. And I'm uh, here today to interview Professor Orland Velov from North Carolina State University, winner of the 2017 Andreas Akrovos Award for Professional Progress in Chemical Engineering. Congratulations, Orland. Thank you, Chris. Um, I'd like to get things started by asking you about your research focus, and in particular to talk to us about microscale engineering as a field and uh, how that is offering innovations in chemical engineering. Well, thank you very much. Uh, uh, it's really a pleasure to be um, a recipient of that award uh, just because I really very can very uh, chemical engineering uh, science award. Obviously, our research is a little bit more multidisciplinary than the usual chemical engineering program. Uh, we try to uh, take tools from different disciplines and apply them to particles and multi-phasic systems and we make, make new type of materials and devices and uh, the most important point about engineering in this case is that people have been studying particle systems for a long time but uh, the present the previous approach has been more like understanding what goes on and, and modeling what goes on and our approach is to take external fields and take special particles and uh, then use those fields to drive the particles together and uh, engineer what would be happening hopefully with the system, try to understand how to control the structure that is going to form, what are going to be the interactions. So in that regard, we really try to bring a degree of control to systems that have been studied uh, empirically previously. Can you uh, give some examples of how you try to control directional interactions and flexible interparticle bonds? What sort of tools do you use in order to engineer your systems? Well, uh, I mean, the first thing that we use is responsive particles, and uh, what I am pre presented in my talk is uh, magnetically responsive structures, uh, that is magnetic particles. Um, if you apply an external magnetic field, magnetic particles form chains. Um, if you take those chains and if you embed them in the material, you have a material which is now directionally responsive, directionally polarizable, uh, so you can have a new type of material which has um, additional features than if you just take particles in a composite. Um, so we like to use magnetic fields or, or electrical fields to assemble the particles. And um, in many cases we want to have flexible structures. And one way to of getting the structure to be flexible is using liquid. So we use multi-phasic liquid systems and the liquid is the one that binds the particles together but liquid can always reconfigure. So that's why I would say that um, the use of fields and multiphasic liquids is what distinguishes our specific research from others. Your, re your research is noteworthy because it spans from fundamental science towards applications. What type of application areas are you most excited about uh, for these uh, engineered systems? I consider our research to be mostly fundamental at this stage. We are looking forward to try applications such as potentially we have a microbot that is going to manipulate live cells in a biological system. Obviously, this is not an immediate application. Um, this is why in the last part of my talk, I illustrated how we apply the same principles to 3D printing. So uh, we may not be 3D printing microbots, but we may use the magnetic properties of the material to 3D print uh, biologically relevant and responsive structures. Um, so uh, I would say that we like to find applications such as 3D printing or some scalable making of a material. Um, although most of the research at the cutting edge is still at a very fundamental stage. So your research is uh, very multidisciplinary, yet uh, your focal area, your, your department is chemical engineering and you're a long-standing member of the chemical engineering community. Can you talk a little bit about how uh, your work uh, fits into the broader context of chemical engineering? I'm, I'm really glad to be a chemical engineering faculty member doing similar research um, just because I mentioned the multidisciplinary aspect and you mentioned the applications. Um, this is what chemical engineering brings which other disciplines don't to the same extent. Um, so I'm working with great colleagues. I have great collaborations where I can learn about simulation, uh, thermodynamics, uh, hydrodynamics, uh, colloidal systems. Um, all of those topics are good chemical engineering topics. We try to combine them with electric and magnetic fields, material science, uh, but the basis of what we do is connected to the topics that have been common to chemical engineering. And uh, the chemical engineering community has also been very good over the years in doing exactly what you mentioned, uh, 
uh, if you do research, you have somebody has to make use of that research, hopefully in the chemical engineering industry, or maybe in the emerg emerging biotechnology or uh, uh, medical industries. So that's why I think that um, chemical engineering is very nicely positioned to perform such research. And, uh, and in addition to that, it's a great community. I have been coming to this meeting for a long time, and I really enjoy meeting colleagues such as you here and, and interacting, so it's a great community. Very good, so as we wrap things up, uh, do you want to close with a, a message or some thoughts that you would pass on to the younger members of our community? Um, well, uh, I mean, what I would say to the new faculty who eventually would be uh, applying, who would be nominated for this award, the future winners, is that uh, maybe multidisciplinary research is important, but um, it is also important to combine it with chemical engineering principles. Um, I can see lots of interesting research going on. Uh, one just have to keep going and kind of looking outside of the present areas, try to kind of really build the cutting edge of research. And again, I see lots of younger faculty who are doing that, so I can only wish them good luck in, in the future. Wonderful. Well, congratulations again, Orlin. Um, we look forward to seeing you again at a future ICHE meeting. Well, thank you very much, Chris.